find the difference by hand. Then use a calculator to check your work. So we're being asked to find the difference, and when we look at our problems, that totally makes sense because they're both subtraction problems. Now we're needing to subtract with fractions, though. So we'll need to kind of review some things that we know about fractions as we work through these. We're going to keep using this idea of difference as um, when we do subtraction problems, that when we're working with these different sign numbers, we're going to think about adding the opposite. So for this first problem, we're going to have 3 eighths and instead of subtracting, we're going to add the opposite of what was being subtracted. Well, what was being subtracted was positive 7 eighths, so we're going to add negative 7 eighths. So that's how we're going to rewrite our problem. So now we're going to go ahead and, and do the addition, and we can see that these two fractions that we're adding have different signs. This is a positive 3 eighths over here. This is a negative 7 eighths over here. So since the, the signs are different, we want to take their difference, we want to subtract these two, and we want to keep the sign of the larger number. Now notice that the denominators are the same, so that makes my life a little bit easier. So I know that the denominator for my answer is going to be an 8, and when I take the difference of 7 and 3, when I take the difference of their numerators, because remember, we don't change the denominator. The denominator stays the same. We only perform the operation to the numerator. What we're really doing here is doing 3 plus negative 7 as my numerator, and that's just going over my denominator of 8. 3 plus negative 7, as we know, would be, well, the difference of 3 and 7 is 4, and because 7 is the larger absolute value of the two, and that's the one that has the negative sign. We're going to go ahead and make that negative 4 over 8. But we're not done yet because this fraction, as you can see, is not simplified. So here's how I'm going to write my simplifying process. I'm going to put the negative that was up here with my numerator. I'm going to actually put that negative out in front of my fraction. And I'm going to rewrite 4 as 4 times 1. And I'm going to rewrite 8 as 4 times 2. So I can see when I do my simplifying process that these 4's are going to cancel each other out because 4 over 4 just is a fancy form of 1. So I'll just write a 1 over them as I cross them out. So my final answer is going to be negative 1 half. And we want to put that negative sign out in front. Okay, that's the, how we know that it's not something like negative 1 divided by 2 or something. We're going to have the negative out front if my fractional answer um, is a negative fraction, we're going to put the negative sign up front. In our second problem, negative 5 minus, or negative 5 over 9 minus negative 13 over 9. So again, we're going to use the idea of subtraction is adding the opposite. So negative 5 over 9, adding the opposite of negative 13 ninths is going to be positive 13 ninths. So positive 13 over 9. And again, I wouldn't have had to write that plus sign there, but that just helps me to remember what's going on. So once again, I have a situation where my denominators are the same, so I know that the denominator is going to stay the same. And remember, we just performed the operation to the numerators. Negative 5 plus that positive 13. This time I'm just going to write it like this. Negative 5 plus 13. So negative 5 plus 13, the signs are different. So we take the difference. The difference of 13 and 5 is 8. And because 13 is the larger um, absolute value and it's the positive, this is going to be positive 8. So I don't need to write the plus sign there. I could if I wanted to. The denominator stays the same at 9. And so we can see that um, th because this is a positive 8 over 9, we don't need to write the plus sign. We can just go ahead and leave it like that. Let's do a quick check on our calculator. So if I bring this over here, we're going to use our fraction key. So the fraction key, if you remember, is right over here. So we're going to do 3 eighths, 3, fraction key, 8. And from that, we're going to subtract 7, fraction key, 8. So 3 eighths minus 7 eighths. The answer is negative 1 half. My calculator does the reducing and everything for me. For our other problem, negative 5 ninths, so we can use the negative sign, not the subtraction sign, negative 5 ninths minus a negative 13 ninths is 